The use of cochlear implants in children has been approved since 1990 by the FDA. We have been educating children at DePaul since 1988, um, 25 years and, and counting. Uh, because of newborn hearing screening, which will have its 10th anniversary um, this, this summer, uh, we can identify babies very early on and fit them with appropriate technology, be that hearing aids, um, Baja devices, or cochlear implants if, if they are a candidate for the implant. I wanted to show uh, how the implant works. Uh, this is um, the externally worn speech processor and then the internally uh, surgically implanted device. And the, the speech processor uh, looks very much like a hearing aid with the exception of the coil, uh, which is actually an antenna that um, sends the information across the skull to the internally uh, implanted device. Uh, sound is picked up by the microphones, digitally coded, and the signal then sent through radio frequency across the skin and scalp, um, couples with the internal antenna uh, through a magnet. And then this is essentially a computer uh, that captures the sounds, namely speech, from the outside world and brings them to the inside of the head into the inner ear and uh, to uh, tiny electrode or metal bands that are implanted in the inner ear, uh, which take the place of the missing and damaged hair cells that are the most common cause of pediatric hearing loss. That information then goes to the hearing nerve and then to the brain for interpretation. Uh, it's been said that 10% of the habilitation of the implant is the implant itself and then the remainder is the habilitation uh, and the team of individuals involved in, in uh, helping uh, a deaf child at DePaul learn to listen and speak. So that would be the family uh, parents, the extended family, uh, teachers of the deaf with expertise in listening and spoken language, uh, speech therapists, physicians, and audiologists uh, to really uh, give the outcome that is anticipated with the use of the cochlear implant. Uh, at DePaul School, we monitor the children's hearing losses over time, also how they understand speech uh, through both their hearing aids and their cochlear implants. And we do a lot of uh, fun games in audiology, uh, play uh, procedures where you'll see our little one here uh, engage in, and uh, also a lot of uh, reinforcement, uh, both verbally and also with some uh, video animations that they can see on the screen that make hearing testing a, a little more fun for the kids. <laughs>